Nicola Sturgeon admitted that an independent Scotland might not immediately join the European Union in an interview not long after the Brexit referendum. Britain left the bloc at 11 p.m. on January 31, but not everyone in the UK has given up on EU membership. Despite Prime Minister Boris Johnson repeatedly rejecting her independence calls, Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon is still determined to hold a second referendum in the spring. The SNP leader believes Scots are being dragged out of the bloc against their will. In a speech in Brussels earlier this year, Miss Sturgeon said, ultimately, when, and I believe that it is a when, Scotland gains independence, I believe that the case for us joining the EU will be an overwhelming one. However, while Brexit might have made the case for Scottish independence stronger, it has also made it practically more difficult. Dot. An independent Scotland in the EU would now border a non-EU country, likely requiring infrastructure and border checks between regions whose communities are deeply intertwined, similar to the problem of the Irish border that severely complicated Brexit talks. Scotland could also be rejected by Brussels due to its current deficit of 7% of GDP, unless it adopted a strict austerity program from the EU as well as potentially adopting the euro. Moreover, new members can only be allowed into the bloc through a unanimous vote from existing member states, and Holyrood would undoubtedly ruffle feathers if it were to join. Despite Ms. Sturgeon's latest claims underestimating these issues, in 2017, the First Minister did actually admit joining the EU might not be so easy. Ms. Sturgeon confirmed Scotland may need a phased approach to becoming a full EU member. She said that, by necessity, in the event of a vote to break up the UK, Scotland might have to pursue membership of the European Free Trade Association, EFTA, whose members include Norway and Iceland, before achieving full EU membership. Alex Salmond, Miss Sturgeon's predecessor, long argued that by following the so-called Norway model, an independent Scotland could have continuous membership of the EU's single market. However, the Scottish Conservatives said Ms Sturgeon's position on Europe had descended into complete chaos.